Hi love, it's Neva and today we're going to be building a mansion for the Grunt family. Here we can see General Bo's working out. There's Lila, she's back. Yeah, it's a lot. And there's their two dogs, Kilty and Cadet. I think Cadet is the Doberman and Kilty is the Greyhound. I just think they should, they had like really slender masculine looking dogs. But yeah, um, this build is actually very, very inspired. And by inspired, I mean pretty much just stolen off of a Sims 4 creator called Mr. Alcan. Now, I was watching the speed build that he did and was copying everything like to the T. So the amount of tiles and lots and blah, 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 and red hair. But I was like, this is too small and I made it a lot bigger. I think I regret that. I don't know. I, I think I, I regret that Loki kind of, but as you can see, this is a very, very long video. I think it's about, yeah, it's like 48 minutes long. So I'm not expecting you to watch this all at once sitting, or maybe you do, but you know, just put this on in the background if you, you know, doing your homework, studying, or trying to get to sleep because. I've got a lot of comments saying that my voice is really soothing, which, to be honest, I haven't gotten this many compliments on my voice until I started making videos. I'm going to be so real. I don't think my... I'm, I think because I'm just used to my voice in it and the people around me are used to my voice, so no one ever, like, says, oh, I love hearing you talk about, about like... But I don't know. It was just very odd getting the influx of compliments that my voice had received, especially because... I think when I was starting out, I didn't put my voice in my videos whatsoever because it's kind of a weird insecurity of mine. I don't know what it is. I just wish my voice was a bit deeper. That's all, really. But I just was uncomfortable hearing my own voice for the longest time. But hearing that other people like hearing my voice is like shocking to me. Not shocking. I guess I do have a nice voice. It just wasn't something I was expecting. I don't know. But here, as you can see, I'm using the Boogie Boos. Um, Nooks and niches set and this little end table slab thing to just get different levels and heights to the wall. I think with the left hand side on the screen now, I have put a fence there, so that just completely negates all the hard, tedious labor labor that I did for that to look the certain way that it does. But it's really, really cool to like have those different like in elevations because this isn't like The Sims Four where you have your um what you call them platforms we don't have platforms in the sims 2 and it's not like the sims 3 where the the strain floor elevation tool can do one click i think the slowest you can get is like four clicks in the constraint floor elevation and then it starts affecting the um wall foundation below because i've tried honestly god i have tried and it just mm -mm. if you try and get like three clicks or two clicks god forbid you try and experiment a bit in the sims 4 in the sims 2 God forbid you try to experiment because it's, it's not having it. It's not having it at all. So a lot of building in The Sims 2 to fighting the game to get something to look the way you want. So I'm very happy with how this build turned out. Obviously, I use a lot of custom content. So if I were to build with just OG Sims 2 stuff, it would not look like this whatsoever. Well, that's kind of what you have to expect when you're hopping onto my channel. I will never build a no cc build like I, I physically i don't think i physically can do that there's just not enough options in the game for me to try a no cc build i'm not i well, i'd like to think i'm good at building i'm not that good at building yes <laughs> but yes talking about the sims 4 oh my god yesterday oh it's not gonna be yesterday when i upload this video but i'll say yesterday yesterday i decided to download um, the sims 4 in a completely legal way by the way completely legal so i legally obtained all the expansions the game packs stuff packs kits which first of all it's disgusting that that's even a thing it's actually gross that there's so many different types of content for the sims 4 I could go on my big, big rant about capitalism and consumerism and how The Sims 4 is just big and greedy and evil, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to let you know that it's hideous that that's a thing and I hate that, but I have I have all the packs for The Sims 4 and I started playing it and I can't play 
men like the sims games without mods i feel like i need some kind of mod to either get rid of something that annoys me kind of make something a bit easier or add like extra gameplay because i've just been playing the sims for so long that's like i want something a bit interesting and different and um, when i started first started playing the sims 2 i played it unmodded and i had a lot of fun with it but there were some things that were annoying me, like the physiology thing where if you learn the physiology skill and your sim just hops onto any exercise machine all of a sudden they're doing the rock johnson and they're swollen and massive and can learn the body skill in like two seconds so that was an annoyance and that's what started um that's what got me started in getting loads of mods for the sims too anyway i do play the sims for modders and i also had a lot of default replacements so for the um world to look a bit more realistic because if you've been watching i really do enjoy the way things with realism look especially in the sims i don't know what it is the sims 4 doesn't really lend itself to realism because it's really dedicated to the cartoony aesthetic like the clay hair and that kind of stuff so i couldn't go all out alpha or realism as i would like or i did go like leaning in a bit more of like realism i think it's the k hippie default that i had so of course i downloaded some hairs some skin some eyes but i didn't download any new clothes or anything like that so altogether i had six gigabytes of mods which compared to my sims 2 is not that much for my sims 2 mods folder is 12 gigabytes i think but my sims 4 is six gigabytes and most of that is literally just defaults like that's it i didn't even download my enlightened mods yet because um when i la was last playing the sims 4 I had the Softer Haze um, lighting mod, I forgot the name of it, but I had the Softer Haze lighting mod and that makes the world like look magnificent, like it's so beautiful what it does to the world and stuff, but anyway. Suffice it to say, I didn't have that many mods and I had all the packs and still the game is just so unresponsive. I know like, I think what it was is... I genuinely like because I've been hating on The Sims 4 for what it feels like forever. I got it on launch. Um, can't remember how old I was. I think I was like 13. I got it on launch because I'd played The Sims 3 and I loved The Sims 3 so much. And so when I heard The Sims 4 was coming out, I was so excited. And then I got it on launch because I was like begging my parents to let me have it. I got it and I was so disappointed but obviously you don't want to tell your parents that this thing that you got me for like 60 odd quid I don't like it so I just forced myself to play it and as I just went on and on I was like I really do not like this and with The Sims 3 I didn't even have all the packs I literally had base game, generations, ambitions, university life, showtime I think that's literally all I had and I would have such a blast playing The Sims 3. Now I had some mods but not that many. I think I only had like default replacement skins, some nice like CC hairs like it was giving like new C. I had some new C hairs. I didn't have any like custom concept for build by because I wasn't even that much of a builder when I was that young. I literally just had skins, hair and maybe some eyes but I would play the fuck out of that game. I love that game down i loved starlight shores the most because i watched this let's play of this um creator she's no longer with us now rest in peace but her name was queen but with it was of x instead of e and she had a showtime let's play and i was just i fell in love with the sims just watching her play so i literally like i didn't even know you need the sims 3 to have expansion packs i just got showtime and then i was like oh i can't play it so I need The Sims 3. So I got The Sims 3 and Showtime. I was just those two and I was having so much fun. Even The Sims 3 base game by itself, so much fun. I cannot say the same for The Sims 4. I'm, I'm being so real, I'm being so honest. I got a base game when it first launched on so no pools, no toddlers. The map was giving grayscale. Like it really was not a good game and I still stuck with it. But when I got back into playing the older games, like The Sims 3, The Sims 2, I just stopped playing The Sims 4 and I forgot how bad it was. <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely forgot how bad The Sims 4 was. So I'm playing it and I'm telling my Sim, do this thing 
and they're just not listening to me they'll just stand around they're like fucking dickheads and i'm like oh my god i've been telling you for time to do this thing and they're just standing there going on their phone just staring off into the distance you know leaning, cocking one hip to the side and it's like i've been telling you to do this thing and you're not doing it why it's getting to the point where with my 12 gigabytes of like custom content defaults mods all that kind of stuff for the sims 2 it is way more responsive than the sims 4 i tell my sim to go and do this thing and if my sim isn't in a bad mood they will just go and do the thing like i don't have to fight them and i don't have to wait around for them to do the thing that i want them to do they will just do it now of course you can get some um mods that combat the simulation like i think it's called where you tell them to do something and they don't do it but either way it's annoying and i remember seeing a video i think it's from city sims comparing the sims 2 and the sims 4 in terms of like responsiveness and there were so many little things that they pointed out that i didn't even realize were like massive problems with the sims 4 so one of them was if i tell a sim you know if i'm making a sim cook and then i go into build mode i delete one thing in the sims 4 the sim will just stop doing what they're doing and i even noticed that when i was playing the other day i was getting my sim to like cook a meal and then i went into the map view to like edit a lot or something i came back and he just stood there it's like but i told you to cook a meal if i leave the game and i enter back and not like play or make time progress the sim will just stop what they're doing and at times it really does just feel like a dollhouse simulator but i've got to turn autonomy off because if i don't do that then i'm fighting my sim he's i'm making him cook a meal downstairs in the kitchen all of a sudden he's upstairs in the bathroom in the second bathroom for no good reason why why would you do that it's random they'll start doing things that you didn't ask them to do and it won't show in the queue so you don't even know they're gonna do it you can't even cancel the action they're going to do because it doesn't show it there it's so frustrating it's so slow it's so unresponsive and it's so boring there's so much content in the sims 4 and the entire time it felt like nothing was happening because you have to actively make things happen for things to happen in the game and it's irritating it's so irritating because the sims 4 is so expensive to have all the packs to have all the dlc and for what it's so bad <laughs> it's so bad so it's really really annoyed me about the sims 4 and the only reason i downloaded it again was because um I follow a lot of Sims 4 creators, first of all, because they just are consistently uploading. You don't get um, Sims 2 YouTubers to consistently upload as much as Sims 4 YouTubers do. And even if you do find ones that consistent, consistently upload like the Sims 4 YouTubers have, it's few and far in between. So we have like Martacore, we have Annie Bats, we have, um, who else do we have? OMG Zephyr Sims is really good. I still need to watch um, her Let's Plays, I still need to do that. We have this one person that does the BACC that I'm yet to catch up on. We have Brianna Peppers as well. She's quite decent. I haven't caught up with her Uber Hood though. I'm, I'm so far behind in that. My apologies. <laughs> I doubt Brianna's. I doubt Brianna's watching this. I don't think. I don't think Brianna's checking for me like that. But yeah, T Addict is also really nice. She's not as consistent. Obviously, she's a mother, new mother to like, I think two under two. So, I don't expect her to be banging out content like these sims 4 girlies do but there are some really good sims 2 creators out there that i really do enjoy but it's not as consistent as the sims 4 creators so i just i was watching um this one creator that i really like sam and bean who has an amazing series about architecture and like achieving different architectural styles i think it's called build like a nerd or build with a nerd something like that and it's to me i'm a big architecture nerd i don't know if you know i feel like i say this all the time every single time i'm in a speed build but i was in university for an architectural degree it wasn't architecture but it was related to architecture and engineering so anything about architecture different architectural styles i am such a nerd for things like that so but this build like a nerd series when i saw it and i recommended i was like oh my god this is exactly what i want and she built in the sims 4 so she'll show like different types of um these build styles and how to discern them from different others so there'll be like the italianate the victorians and not just like the victorian style but different types of victorians a like queen anne all this different kind of stuff suffice it to say i love salmon bean i'm a salmon bean stan and i always like 
I'm never there when she's streaming, but I really do want to try and like hop into streams and just show my appreciation and stuff. But yes, I love Sam and Bean. <laughs> I love Sam and Bean a lot. And she has a what do you call it a challenge called the inherited manor challenge and what that challenge is is kind of like a rags to riches sort of gameplay where you have um inherited manor right it's like haunted and being burnt down and so you have to work room by room to like renovate and meet certain requirements to renovate this room and then you can move into another room but you can't use the rest of the mansion unless you've unlocked that part of the mansion so let's say you start up in the hallway until you meet the requirements for the hallway you can't go to other parts of the house you need to finish the hallway first so if there's a kitchen you can't use the kitchen until you've met the requirements for the other rooms from the kitchen to reach the kitchen so i really wanted to play that and i don't want to play it in the sims 2 because that's like it's intended for the sims 4 and all the and whatever were intended for the sims 4 so i was like do you know what let's let me download the sims 4 let me get the save file download the gallery lot place it down and let's go but before i started playing that i was like let me just get used to the sims 4 again and just you know feel it out and i felt it and it felt terrible so i think i'm literally just going to play that challenge and then never touch the sims 4 again i'll keep it downloaded because my laptop has a monstrous amount of space it has too much space honestly i think it's like two three hundred gigabytes something insane like that so i can just keep the sims 4 there in case in a moment of pure insanity i want to play this that game again but yeah no mm -mm. It is not good even with mods gameplay mods all that kind of stuff it's just slow but yeah i'm very excited to play the inherited mana challenge let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that sims 4 content i know this is a sims 2 specifically a strange town um <laughs> channel because that's like what i play the most for if you are interested in seeing that i'd be more than happy to you know accommodate that because i'm very excited to play that the, the challenge not the sims 4 i'm excited to play the challenge and you know see how things look and that kind of stuff and yeah it'll be really interesting the thing i do like about the sims 4 though is how pretty this you can make sims and how easy it is to make sims as well of course i feel like i've played the sims 2 for long enough that i can combat the craziness of like the sims 2 and how difficult it makes you to make to, to do certain things so i've been able to like fight tooth and nail to like build in the sims 2 so i'm get i'm pretty used to building building in the sims 2 now i feel like i know the tips and the tricks to make building in the sims 2 a lot easier and um, when i was building the sims 3 building in the sims 3, no one talks about this building in the sims 3 is stressful i think what it is is the color pick up the color wheel as great as the color wheel is i'm kind of thankful the sims 4 and the sims 2 don't have the color wheel because i think it's something called option paralysis when there's too many options so you don't know what to choose so i always just end up just letting it letting the houses look ugly because it like overwhelms me to try and decorate a sims 3 house because the color palettes i don't know what it is i have so much choice that i don't want to choose anymore so i do like building in the sims 3 especially with like some nice cc building in the sims 3 is nice but it's just like the color palette thing is it's a lot for me <laughs> it's really a lot for me but the sims 3 the gameplay is really really fun i had so much fun in the sims 3 but i just can't play it on this laptop i think all the places that you can legally obtain the sims 3 have all the packs that come with it and no shade i don't care about into the future i can like just not play with into the future like i'm okay with that and there are some things here and there that i don't really care for and um, don't really care for like katy perry sweet treats i know controversial opinion i don't care for like, sweet treats oof oh i know people have gonna jump down my throat for saying that but yeah no sweet treats and other stuff i just wish it was more like selectable maybe if you guys know a place to completely legally download the sims 3 and choose which packs i have because i'm fine with going back to how i used to play the sims 3 where it was just generations um ambitions showtime and what was the other one and university life i'm completely okay we're just going back to that 
I do think though that I'd like to have Supernatural back in my game because that Supernatural pack, I love playing with Supernatural Sims. I love it a lot. I love, of course, I love playing with aliens because it's Strange Town. You have to like playing with aliens and stuff, but I really do enjoy playing with witches. In my Builder City Challenge, uh, it's like an old Western steampunk really cool really like cute if you are interested because i feel like i talk about it a lot and i have a bunch of speed builds on this channel for my bacc but if you are interested in that you can literally just go to my tumblr and like read it from the start of my bacc but i have a witch sim ayazan and i love playing as her just getting it to like mix stuff in her little cauldron and stuff and even in strange town oh my god there's olive how could i forget the queen mother olive specter and she just goes round casting spells i think i had um one round where i just would make her go to community less and just be evil and that was really fun that was really fun but yeah, i love witches um i do want to play with vampires a bit more vampires are really interesting so hopefully in my strange town i can get francis to become a vampire that would be really cool i do have a fairy sim but that's like a more of a custom thing doesn't really mm. i do kind of want to make blossom a plant sim so i think i'll do that i do have a couple mods because i know in the og game making a plant sim or getting a plant sim is incredibly difficult so i feel like i'll just make her like drink a potion and make her a plant sim or something like that but yes god I do love like Supernaturals and I want to play The Sims 3 again but it's just it's so difficult to get that game to run nicely because that game does not play nice at all. I don't have all my um, Sims 2, not Sims 2, Sims 3 discs anymore because I usually like have them like physical discs of all the expansions and the base game. I no longer have that anymore because we moved house so it's either I don't have them or I've completely lost them. If so, even if I wanted to play it, this laptop doesn't have a CD drive, so I wouldn't even be able to install it. That's one thing I hate about technology now is that they don't have CD drives. Why the hell won't you include a CD drive? Okay, we get it. Everything's online, but what if I want to put a CD in? That's irritating. But yes, there is still a lot of time left. Oh my god. Right now, we're onto the kitchen, and this, around this time, is when I went from doing this light color palette, and I saw this image on pinterest that had black counters with like a spruce kind of color um, for the countertops and i just thought that is really really pretty i really like how that looks so from this point onwards i was just like okay everything now is going to have a dark more masculine a color palette because i was keeping things light and airy when i think modern i think white like stark white or something that's hard to clean for some reason i think of white but when i saw like the dark i was like okay the black is giving luxury it's giving luxurious i think i'm gonna go with the black so i go with this black and this dark sprucey color and then i think later on in the video you'll see me go back to the living room and i change all the colors to like a more deeper darker color just so everyone has that like really deep masculine kind of vibe to it which i don't i think that's a very architecture thing is to assign colors color palettes like masculine i don't know i don't know if, is that an architecture thing i don't know but you're probably just seeing a lot of black and being like how the hell is that masculine but i don't i don't even know how to describe it just dark blues dark greens deep colors deep cool colors always scream masculine to me so that's the kind of vibe we're going for i love this kitchen a lot it's a massive kitchen and i didn't want to clutter up this place too much because um, if you've been watching my let's play you know that i've been really struggling with pink flashing now this literally doesn't happen when i'm just playing the game by itself like if i'm just playing the game on my lumps and on my ones like the game doesn't pink flash as much as it does when i'm recording a video so i think it has something to do with obs and just playing obs like put an obs on and then also playing the game that makes the pink flashing happen a lot more because in my bacc if you've seen the cc that i have for that save or that game you will realize that like it's a miracle that it doesn't pink flash as much as my strange sound does because my bacc like the amount of high res gorgeous textures in my bacc 
and it doesn't ping flash as much as my strange sound when I'm recording, it's definitely OBS. I just, I know it is, I know it is. But yes, this, I haven't spoken about the family yet. This is for the grunts now. The grunt family has been kind of tumultuous. I'll get into it a bit more when I'm playing them in my Let's Play, which it, it might be a couple of weeks until we see the grunts because um, I've just finished recording, not just finished, but like the last time when I was recording a video is for the Smiths and the Smiths are before the grunts. Um, so the grunt family is kind of fractured off and like split off now. So this house is for General Buzz, Lila and their two dogs because all his sons have kind of just moved away. I don't think any of his sons really want anything to do with him anymore. Um, of course, I've kept General Buzz as a blatant alien racist so he is just the ceo of racism apparently he hates aliens and that is like a big rift between him and his sons because i think what it is is you know when someone tells you not to do something so you really want to do the thing it's kind of like that so of course rip and johnny rip is like rip and johnny are like in love right they really really do love each other and they've been sleeping with each other and um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. I guess this will be spoilers, but Johnny is pregnant with Rip's child. So General Buzz will have an alien grandchild, which I don't think he's very pleased about. Not that he even knows. Because Rip, ever since he moved out for uni, hasn't even looked back, hasn't spoke to his dad, doesn't call his dad, doesn't try and talk to his dad. I feel like because Rip was seen as the quote unquote problem child, he was so happy to just move and get away from his dad and so he just hasn't spoke to his dad and yeah i think he's just a-okay i have this like narrative in which because rip was obviously not liked by his father at all he try and avoid seeing his dad and just would always visit johnny and his family and just talk to them and they were so loving and caring and he's like he's thinking if my dad says that aliens are just horrible horrible disgusting creatures that are out to get everyone in strange town and like impregnate everyone like spread their seed and just be evil and wicked but i've interacted with aliens and they seem much nicer than you a human like they're much nicer to me and i'm supposed to be your son i'm supposed to be the next and like and you don't like me whatsoever okay then fuck you like aliens are cool and you're not let me just move so Rip hasn't spoke to us that at all. Now with Tank, obviously, Tank was the favorite child. He was the one that was constantly trying to prove himself to his dad, constantly, you know, getting into the military, trying to prove his dad proud. And I think what it was is Rip has a lot of internalized homophobia towards himself and he is gay. He didn't want to admit he's gay, but when he went to uni, and obviously he was sleeping with Ophelia for a bit and I think that was a cover-up he's kind of been like see I can't can, I can be with girls how can I be gay I, I'm with a girl right now he goes to uni and he meets someone um he meets Almerich and he just is really taken to him he really wants to be around him but he's not really sure what it is he's like i really like this guy but it, it's, it's nothing like that like i just i just like him like he's just cool he's just nice to be around but it's it's, it's... what no way <laughs> i can't be gay what so they keep talking they keep talking and then armor just like makes moves on him and he just like kind of goes with the flow he's just like seeing him for a while but their relationship gets a bit more serious and tank is just like really coming to terms of like okay maybe i actually do like men hmm and he's really thinking about it and he's thinking about like just putting everything into context about how much he like he enjoys ballet and how much he just likes just looking at shirtless men and <laughs> every time he went to the gym he'd be like damn everyone's so attractive what's going on so he really like just thought to himself okay damn i'm gay but my dad is very very old-fashioned let's say so he goes to introduce his very serious boyfriend because he intends to marry him like he this is the person for him like he's like okay i've, I've found my guy like this is the person i want to be with for the rest of my life 
and he wants to really introduce him to his father and just be like okay dad this is going to be your new son-in-law blah 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 and general boss is not having it he's like first of all why have you brought a man here second of all why are you gay <laughs> general boss is not he's not feeling it whatsoever and so he pretty much like disowned there's a big argument you can like read it on my blog if if you really want to but i'll just sum it up he just disowns tank and he's like no son of mine is gay i don't know what you thought when you brought over your boyfriend but i'm clearly not gonna have this you think it's just aliens i don't like um get it right diva <laughs> so tank just hasn't spoke to his dad since that dinner and um, it kind of hurts a bit that he spent pretty much his whole life just trying to prove himself to his father and his dad was just like okay swag but you gay person that kind of thing so general boys just yeah his two elder sons don't want to do with him and you may be thinking okay but what about book what about book like we haven't spoke about book book was obviously the forgotten child um the everyone just kind of forgot he was there and so but book really really like has a big thing with jill book and jill are so cute They're, like the cutest couple ever and so obviously like they would talk and all that kind of stuff but they really started to like really see each other a bit more when they were teenagers and book invited jill back to her house and jill in my game anyway she has a bit more alien features so she has like green birthmarks and the alien eyes and stuff because i was like i want her to look like an alien that's just me so even though she's not as alien as the rest of the smith family she still looks like a, a bit like an alien so he invites her over for like a little sleepover they're having fun watching movies playing games together and general boss is like don't bring that girl here ever again like i don't want to see her don't do that that's disgusting don't bring her here and book is like but why like she hasn't done anything she's just a teen girl like how can she be of harm to anyone okay yeah sure maybe everyone else but not her like i don't book didn't say that but he's like what the hell why do you have an issue with her like she hasn't done anything and general boss is like it's my house if i don't want someone in my house you can't bring them to my house i don't know why you have an issue with that so i think after more and more arguments with his dad he was just like oh okay this is the girl i love and you just can't put your biases aside to you know maybe accept the person that i really want to spend the rest of my life with like obviously he's a teenager so he's just like i think that his first girlfriend is like his everything and maybe she will be his everything who knows but i think it was less that and everything in particular with his upbringing and being like kind of just forgotten about and just pushed to the side just growing up in that kind of environment and then for the one thing he's happy about and he can't even have that he's like okay well so he ran away and he moved in with a rip who is in uni so book is also in uni i didn't see him going to uni because i wanted him to be a stylist but i also didn't want rip to be younger than book because if he doesn't go to uni then rip will be younger than him which i didn't want i wanted to keep their ages kind of a bit more consistent so yes that is the grunt family is very very hectic fractured um general buzz will die alone <laughs> that will happen his wife is back sure but she's barely in the house and when she's in the house she's woohooing with someone she's a romance sim and a serial romantic at that like she doesn't want to settle down whatsoever general buzz knew this um i haven't stated yet but general buzz is arrow ace he didn't really see himself getting married being in a relationship woohooing he didn't see that for himself whatsoever he's kind of like disgusted with all that and he just wants to keep himself to himself he's not really I guess he's sex averse is that what like people call it? yeah he's like he's averse to it like he only woohoo's to procreate that kind of guy and he just wanted a couple sons and that's it really so their marriage is kind of one out of convenience and lila didn't really want to get married because she's just not the type to be tied down whatsoever so rick really takes after his mother um but i think with rip it's a lot of just insecurity and him just wanting to be wanted with lila that's just her 
she's just that babe like she just wants to have 400 boyfriends and more power to her honestly but yeah she's i think she's arrow as well but she's heterosexual so she doesn't want to be in a relationship but she does want to boohoo a lot so they're kind of just a marriage of convenience kind of thing general buzz he doesn't really care that lila is just sponging off of him because it's kind of like a trophy wife kind of thing where she just looks really pretty so he's he's all right with having her around plus he doesn't have to see her because she lives all the way upstairs and he kind of lives a bit more downstairs so he doesn't really see her that often they don't really cross paths he focuses on his dogs and teaching his dog skills focuses on his career you know keeping strange town the military up and running he doesn't really care about his cheating wife <laughs> that's really not a concern for him now with this let's play i'm very excited to play the grunts i'm very excited to also like get more rich sims play with more rich sims and get them to like buy vacation homes because i want to build oh my god i really want to build a custom vacation hood that is one thing i really really want to do i think i was just watching a kaylee 83 video i was just on her channel so I was looking for a specific thing. I don't even know what video I was looking for. I was looking for a specific video. And I saw that she had done neighborhood views for her custom vacation hoods. So there's, what was it? Something coast. Coconut coast? Coconut palm? Palm coast? Something like that. It was like a more, it's less Hawaiian and more Jamaican inspired of the island. And I was like, that's really nice i like that a lot and then there was also pinecone peaks which i really did enjoy so i was just thinking to myself like i started with um the island vacation and i called it tropicana coast it was it tropicana coast i called it i think that's what i called it and that's uh, very much hawaii like hawaiian hawaii and i just thought to myself like i really want because tweaky island is nice and all but I want it to be built by me because not to toot my own horn or anything but I'm a great builder and EA is not so I just wanted it to just look very very nice very inviting very tropical and have lots of like cute little CC things here and there and I also wanted um, people to surf on the beach as well I found this really good um, cool mod on Mod The Sims that allows like surfing now you shouldn't take this out of your downloads folder because it does have an npc sim just so like your sim can like surf kind of like you know the way the remote controlled cars have that npc that like makes the cars move and stuff it's like that with the surfboards in your sim so i really really did want to have like a surfing area or like a nice beach where your sim can go and surf but one thing i do want to I want it to be like completely like you can go you can do the thing and you can have all the vacation mementos from my custom hood which is going to take a while because there's quite there's a, quite a few vacation mementos so as of this recording right now i have the pirate ship on one of the um, beaches and i have like this really cool pier um pier fronts with lots of shops that i've added a pirate um ship it too so that's really cool i also wanted like a really nice um what other vacation mementos have i added have i even added more is that it no that can't be it I, oh i added the food store food stand food store thing in another beach lot because i have multiple beach lots i really wanted to stress the importance of this beach lot now with the temple situation i just nabbed the temple lot from tweaky put it in mine because i didn't want to be doing all that there are multiple temple lots i don't think we need all that mm -mm, i don't think we need all of that so as long as they can get the memento of like putting the thing in the temple whatever the fuck as long as they can have that that's all i really care for really and truly so just snap that from two here and now i do want to make them um, a big foot lot but i need to get like the requirements for that because there's specific requirements you need to meet i think you need like a um, radio you need a hammock you need some other bits and bobs because um big folk kind has like this thing where he's like oh my god everything in my house is broken if only someone could come and fix it for me and then you come in like fix it felix and like 
no worries handy is here you fix everything up and then he gives you i don't know what he gives you maybe a sloppy kiss i hope it's a sloppy kiss bigfoot's fit but <laughs> he gives you something and then you're all made up and bigfoot swag and whatever the hell so i need to build a bigfoot lot one thing i really really did want to do is build a lot of houseboats and i want people to own houseboats and yachts in this island vacation um, area there's nowhere in tweaky island where it would make sense for me i don't know i don't know about anyone else but for me when i see tweaky island i don't think oh yeah houseboats but for this new vacation um vacation place that i've made houseboats make a lot of sense so i've started with this um kind of hotel houseboaty thing where you can just rent out a houseboat for your vacation i haven't even started like building it yet i've just got the houseboat into the water and i've built just one big room I've built the outsides of it i haven't done the insides of it so i need to go back in my game and do that i've built this really really pretty motel that i'm really quite proud of um it's a bit i feel like the build is nice if i dedicated a bit more time to it it could be perfect but because i'm building a whole vacation hood good enough is okay for me maybe because i'm a bit harsher on myself if you see the actual motel you'd be like oh no that's a sound this actually looks nice i'm not too happy with the pool area because it's like a small kind of pool i'm not the happiest with that area but it still looks nice that's all that matters that's all i really care for okay this is lila's room lila's whole thing is like white and like for me in my mind white signifies like purity innocence that kind of thing and lila is not pure she's not innocent she's actually a very horrible person and so her like her whole thing is that she faked her own death to get out of motherhood now that her children are much older she's like come back and she's like oh guys i've missed you so much what faking death what and then so that's just traumatic for her children because they're like we saw you at the funeral we saw your body now you're back what's going on um so olive actually helped her with faking her own death she's just back as if nothing's happened and she's just woohooing up a storm she's seeing a bunch of new people she has this little boy toy um, mickey dossier is a dossier or dossier i forget but mickey from la fiesta tech and she's just been sleeping with him on and off he's like his cute little thing but i think mickey is low-key like catching feelings for lila i want to take things a bit more serious and also he sees money signs like mickey if there's one thing about mickey he he doesn't want to work he's lazy bag of bones right now mickey lives with matthew and sarah now matthew and sarah got married and they have a child and he has no qualms just sponging off of them like mickey has a job but he's not doing well in it and he's he, i think his lifetime um wish or what's it his aspiration lifetime wish is to be a job hopper so i think he's gonna quit his job soon and be like oh guys they fired me oh no i guess i have to stay on the couch for a bit longer and matthew and sarah i think sarah is just such a kind soul so she's just not gonna kick him off the couch or yeah mickey's just a scrounger that's in his nature and i guess that's why him and lila get along so much because lila is scrounging off her husband her ex-husband but she's scrounging off of him like she's not she's working a job but she's not doing well in it i mean she's working part-time in like the culinary career so she has like three hours she'll work three hours she'll be back and she's back out in the club at the hookah lounge just trying to get a nice new a hot boy toy to like play with and she she's a very unserious lady general buzz doesn't care as long as he's she's not asking him to boo her you can do whatever you want but i think he's his concern is you're making me look bad because she still has um general buzz's surname that's simply because in the military district you need to either be in the military or be um sort of connected to someone in the military if she changed her surname then they'd be like hey wait you're not married to the general you can't live here so she's kept her surname as grunts just so she can stay in this big house and like 
no one really cares about it so every time she tries to date someone new she's like trying her best not to be in the military district and seen on dates with other men because people start talking about okay the lady of the general is has been seen with like 50 different people this week what's that about general so i think she respects him enough to go into the main strange town area it's just not not be up in front about her romance sim shenanigans as you can see right now i'm just doing the outside yeah i got these pool edge like thick pool edge things in the boogie booze nooks and Nisha set i really wanted to finish off the pool edge um because it just wasn't looking finished whatsoever i was considering putting like a slide but i was like this is the general there's no way this man is sliding anywhere so just kind of left it as that there's this nice little like area outside with, like a cooler i don't think the cooler is functional at all but there's a cooler there just in case you want to there's like this um, phone with the speaker dog house in case i want to have puppies and stuff but there's a thing with cadet i think it's cadet yes cadet the doberman cadet is so evil <laughs> that's an evil evil wicked dog that dog is so wicked what it is with that dog is he's aggressive which the general likes he likes when the dog like goes and attacks people that are on his lot and stuff but because he's aggressive and kilty is not that aggressive he's always picking fights with kilty and you know what the worst thing is in the last lot um because i had built the once a mansion before but i didn't like it that's why i'm like rebuilding it something else but in the last lot cadet and kilty were just having bare fights and he kept losing the fight i don't know how kills which just beating his ass and cadet was like um um i'm a victim and he ran away what do you mean you're a victim you're trying to victimize other people all the time you're just biting and chewing and scratching and just being wicked and now when you get a taste of your own medicine and you lose a fight now you want to run away say you're a victim no but when i moved them into this lot cadet is back now it says on his little thing that he's run away but when when i look at him he's right there like he hasn't run away at all so i don't know what that's about i have this little outdoor sauna thing um they live in a desert so probably gonna get rid of this <laughs> i put something else here i wanted to have like a hot tub but i didn't have any custom hot tubs and the hot tubs in the game are kind of kind of hideous no shade kind of ugly so i need to find like a nice cute custom hot tub and like put that there instead they have this like nice fountain and stuff that really wanted like a nice hot tub but yeah I, I will include like a really like nice modern sleek hot tub um there should be like some three to two conversions because i can remember in the sims 3 there's some really really nice hot tubs there but i have to like peruse around and just really find something that suits this <laughs> this outdoorsy area there's a telescope right there um really nice really cute some plants and at this i didn't really know what to do in mr alcan's og um in his og version of this lot it was on a two-step foundation i realized it's too late and i'm like well i'm not building it again so i just like continued well this if this had like the thing and it had a little step down i wouldn't mind it so much but it just looks like a big empty area but yeah here's a little outside area for the dogs and finally we're at the end oh my god but yes it's been so nice being with you and hopefully my insane ramblings has convinced you to watch my let's play or um subscribe or even follow me on my tumblr you know just really point it out there if you want to support me you know maybe share this video if you're so you know i don't want to ask too much of you guys oh my god i don't i don't want to ask too much <laughs> but it's been an absolute pleasure being with you here today and thank god that you've stuck around for this long and you know listen to me ramble on about who knows what for god knows how long um it's been so great being with you with you and tara for now <laughs>